Okay, so council, we need to be able to give Christy some time to write stuff down tonight because the uh, recorder's not working. So what needs to be written down, we need to be cognizant of that and not talk over each other. So. I call to order this special meeting of the City of Glenrose City Council for Budget Workshop at 534. Councilman Jones. Here. Councilman Marquez. Here. Councilman Moore. Here. Councilman Ramsey. Here. Let the record show that Councilman Mitchell is absent. There are four council members present. There is a quorum. First item on the agenda this evening is discussion, consideration, and possible action regarding the animal control facilities uh, issues, funding, and fee schedule. At the, council, the last workshop session, one of the things that the council asked me to do was to get with um, Judge Chambers and see if there was any answer at this time with response to um, the letter that we sent uh, to them. Judge Chambers does not have an answer at this time. Things are still being discussed. Um, their, their budget, as they're working through it and looking through and all of the possibilities, um, may not even go to vote until it's late as the 29th or 30th of the month. Um, he did say that um, on the luminant side, there is, um, they are actually county and um, EFH are in person-to-person -person negotiations and those appear at this time to be moving forward so um, how fast would impact or whatever that will be um, he has no way of predicting so things are very very fluid at this point in time The, one of the things that the council had asked um, officer, the, our animal control officer Ray to do was um, in the event that it is there that what we have proposed is refused by the, um, the county or that they come back with a, a counter proposal that is unacceptable that she come up with some possible fees uh, with the possibility of um, the uh, of county residents being charged and I believe council members have those at their positions and um, I believe the city administrator did you have another possible option um. <clears throat> Since it's understood that the county paid for a portion of the animal shelter and that the shelter was built on city prop or on county property, um, wondering if there might be a possibility of uh, swapping services um, for the entire ownership of the facility, including land and a portion of the animal shelter that the county has owned, um, we might be able to uh, provide services for a time certain, say for another year or two years, depending on the value assessed to, the, I believe it's, if I understand correctly, it's several acres of land, and then the value of the uh, one half interest in the shelter itself. Um, perhaps a possibility to work with the county in that regard so that it, we are at least offering some options um, that would be um, no cash outlay per se uh, by the county but they would still be uh, giving the city a uh, quid pro quo for our portion of the services that we provide to them. Uh, for again for a time certain maybe a couple of years or however long it is that the uh, 
equates to the value of the property. Um, I haven't presented that. I haven't talked to the judge about that. I visited with the mayor a little bit this morning about it. Uh, but um, perhaps that's a, that might be a doable option for the county. Um, if the council has some thoughts on that, I'd be more than receptive to it. Um, it's just, uh, just thinking about it and, and uh, had an idea that maybe that would give us some levity to work with. Is that half the value of the land and half the value of the building? Is that whatever? No. What I hear? They, the county owned, it's my understanding the county owned the land and they had half the value of the building. And the city has been maintaining the building and what maintenance there is of the land. But we would swap our services for the county's interest in the animal shelter, including the land. Uh, for a year, two years, whatever that value is, it says that. Would that include the whale? Sure. Now that, you know, that may be something that I mean, I just wanted to make sure that was a part of it well, in there. Does the well provide water to their barn? Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where it's a well on our property. Is a well on the property? The well's on the property. Yeah, right it's, there. it's a dam. No, she's saying. Sorry. It's, 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 it's at the county barn. It's at the county barn. Yeah, so that wouldn't be a It's no of. longer a well. You're on the water district. You're on the water district anyway. Oh, okay, so that's not an issue. No, it's a middle okay. issue. <coughs> so my understanding is that the city and the county went into an agreement, a written agreement. I would not. Create I have not seen a written agreement. I assume there is one somewhere because both entities have put funds into it. The county actually owns the dirt and the building was split 50-50 in the cost of the construction of it's my understanding. So the county owns the dirt. They were in a, it was an agreement basically between the city and the county to create an animal shelter. That's but right. in that agreement this is where that $58,000 comes into effect for that fund every year. Right. They would pay a portion of the operation of the animal control. But that's been since the inception of this animal shelter. Well, that's what I'm, I'm coming to. That agreement has changed from time to time. You know, and it's been a yearly one lately. It's previously there was a three year agreement. Right. And then in the last couple of years, it's been a one year agreement. Um, and I, Robert, I, I'm sorry to say I don't have all the details, haven't fleshed it all out, uh, and haven't tried to assess any value uh, of the property of either the building and or the, and or the dirt. Uh, it was just a thought that that might be a, an area that we could explore and pursue if, if the uh, council had any inclination to present that to the county as, a, as another option to continue the, the service and maybe show some cooperation for both the city and the county to continue the, the uh, facility that way. Council Ramsey. Would we um, get an appraisal of that or would we do it based on the, how it's the CAD? I, I think my, my thought, and, and I'm not sure how it would work with the city and county with two governmental entities uh, swapping property or Sorry. exchanging services for, for property. Um, obviously, when the city buys property or the county buys property, we have to have an appraisal. Uh, we might be able to use the appraisal district's um, thoughts on that. If, if they have appraised the property, since it's a governmental home, they may not have ever appraised it. So, but they have appraisers on on the job, so perhaps one of them could make that kind of assessment on the value of the property. Just my ancient recollection was that I believe the city built the building. Now there may have been a, a cooperative agreement between the city and the county at the time where they were going to chip in like fifty thousand uh, dollars toward the operations, and we did fifty thousand dollars toward the operations. So, but 
and that, but I can't, I can't quite remember who owned the land, though, other than that was all county property. Yeah, it, it, as far as I know, it's all county property. We, we, but the city owns 11 acres out there, but I'm not sure where that facility sits, if it's on the county or city property, but, but I'm pretty sure there's a, an 11 acre track there that the city owns. We own the old, we own the old stuff, don't we? Yeah, that's, that's near the back end. It's actually near the, near the highway. Yeah. You know the, the, where the, the impound yard right. is? From there that, all the way. That road didn't used to be in there. I think it, it's adjacent to the, the school. It was, it, it was just my understanding it that, that, yeah. that the, okay. yeah. the, the facility was owned, was owned by the county. If I could ask one quick question. Do any of the council members have an idea of time frame? The city secretary went and pulled the animal control file to see what she can find, if anything, in there. Um, could anybody give her an approximate start year? Start order? Not a year. The day it opened was October 1999. It opened in October of 1999, so we're talking about something probably around 90, late 97, early 98-ish. The first animal services agreement in here is 1995. Okay. But they were like in a makeshift, right? That was me. Pardon me? That was you in 85? 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. And I was always told the county and the city went in halves on the building. That's what I'm always told. Okay. Even even if they went in halves on the building and they provide a fifty eight thousand dollar annual fee that is negotiated now, uh, the numbers don't lie. Just the last meeting it was almost 75% where the county was receiving calls outside. Historically, uh, the animal control has provided almost 66 from the, the numbers that we, we, we've seen. So I understand that that's a good I think, course of action that we could look into. But now that we're saying that we might actually be on that property, then um, that's something that we can check out I mean, the, the, the city already years. owns the, the property then it's a different ball game but i even understood all along that the county actually owned that do the, the commissioners know that this agreement pardon me sorry, um march 9th 1999 says whereas city owns <coughs> real property which is conveniently located for the construction of such animal control facility and whereas city and county wish to make provisions setting out rights and obligations for each party here into in connection with such agreement and then it goes on into the what the agreement would be so this says that the city owns the property city owns property mm -hmm. okay. county commissioners are, yeah the county commissioners think they own it too <laughs> <laughs> well the county the uh, judge signed this Oh, no, I'm not doubting you. I'm just saying that the county commissioners. Yeah. You and need to add them. that to copy. Yeah, sure. Okay, All what is there anything else in there with respect to services after that there's or all kinds the building? Of, I don't know about that, but I'm sure there's interlocal agreements about two and including this year, um, as well as the. Uh, letters received and uh, or correspondence from from last month madam mayor i have a, have a question yes in talking with the uh, county judge did we already emphasize that this, we haven't received that fifty eight thousand from last year um uh, that was brought up i didn't mention that to him um and he indicated to me that that may be a, a minor, which apparently Mr. Rollins, who is their finance person, um, responds to an invoice, and it hasn't been invoiced. But I did uh, let the judge know that Mr. Nolan has sent a letter, 
and he, had he acknowledged that the letter's been received and that he did pass it on to Mr. Rollins. Um, but in, in terms of bookkeeping, and I'm sure that the council is the Ramsey, and is it Wes? No, I'm Wes sorry. Rollins is the county. county okay, I may Ryan have Watts. Ryan Watts. There we go. I'm sorry, I get names. No, that's okay. I told I did too. I was like, okay. Wes um, is the chief appraiser. Okay. Um, that I can understand that little hiccup in in terms of you know an invoice is what folks are looking for in that accounting arena. That's their their bible, so to speak. Um, so we may want to touch bases and make sure that that letter is going to suffice. Have you been giving the statistical animal uh, demographics? Like, he does was, he know that the animal shelter pretty much and how it's going to affect socially? Yes, he's aware that about two thirds of the animals picked up are from the county. Councilman Jones. There's a question for Tammy. Um, how many of those animals were brought in as opposed to picked up out in the county? Um, I, gave, I gave Chester the numbers. That's a report you have on your this one? Yes. But there's okay. a paper on the front for the last three months. Okay. What I was going yeah. to say was they do provide our water, which we need daily, all day. I don't know how much I spend on the water. We're on the water, water district now. Huh? We're on the water district. Through the county barn. Couldn't we have our own tap? We have our own tap. We put a meter because at one point Kathy called me from over there and asked. I mean, couldn't we have our own tap on the on the, on the water district? Because they'd have water. to come down the highway. They don't go down. Mm -hmm. It goes to the old wells, and then it comes to my lot, my building, and to the dump ground. And it stops. And uh, the county barn has their own. And they pay the bill. Well, that's it. It comes by the kennel control. You're saying no. Then you know, yeah, yeah, the, we we can get our own tap. Why can we get our own tap? Have our own water? Not I mean, we can get our own tap. We can also pay straight to the Somerville County Water District. Right. If that's, I mean, we, we'll have a water bill. But Apologies, Council. I'm not even paying my own rules, not paying attention here. <clears throat> so we are reliant on them for water. It's actually the water district. They're getting water district water? Yes. Which, in a way, I'm glad because when we were on the wells, the wells would turn over every so often and my water would be rusty. And when they put us on the water district, the water's been pumped. Questions, comments, Councilwoman Rings? I just want to make sure I understand, you know. Even if you're not real blonde, it's thick sometimes. Um, okay, so what we're we're assessing right now is according to Christie's agreement is that we own the land that the building's on. But we're not sure if the county owns half the building or I mean, if they put in money for half the building. And our water is from the county. So from that point, can we still bargain to do the services or exchange? Um, I don't know what. I don't know what the rest, I'm just making sure I, mean, I understood I it. Well, I think he was trying to say that because the county if the county did own the land, right. then we should own that land. So maybe change services for the, right. the folk, folk. Since we own the land, they really have no bargaining chip for the county. So. It's just the building that, that 
That's the yeah. issue. And, and I did the water. I scanned. I apologize. I scanned. So I was looking for a particular thing. Uh, I was looking for property. Uh, it says the. It says also the construction of the facility by the city. Uh, so, in this, so we, we built it. Mm -hmm. So we the city built it, and we own the land. It's like, it, further yes, down in the agreement, it says that something something to the effect that that we split the cost with the county, as <coughs> subsequent agreements say. Um, so, so we actually did the construction, not. but they contributed half of the expense. Uh, yes. Yes. I, I think they may even pony up the money for the first truck. First time the truck. Thank you, Christy, for getting that. Yes. Sorry, I just scanned it. And I didn't like to that. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you for pick, getting that out. To and that's in that March 1999 document that you found about the property? Correct. It's all the same. It's all in one. In one document. So, I just have a real quick question. Where did this information say that the county owned the land? Was it the judge that said that? Or? That's. Since I've been here, that's yeah. what I've been told by county commissioners. Okay. And a little second part would be, has the county judge seen that? I mean, that's a. It's not likely. It's. I mean, if we we present that to him and say this is. I mean, we've been getting you. We get a great deal here. Uh, we'll get a copy of it and give it down. Yeah. I mean, I think that, that would probably change his mind. I mean, ever I mean, since the commission. I, I can tell you that ever since I've been here in Glen Rose. That's all I've heard is that the county owns the, the property and whatnot. But, and it is um, sealed back here. But, you know, and this all, this happened back in 1999, so. Well, even back between 2003 and 2006, the assumption was, and I say assumption now, from the county commissioners, mm -hmm. that the land belonged to the county and the county had helped the city. So it goes further back than right. any of us. Realize. Yeah. The actual data now. Of course, I didn't live in the city then either, so. <coughs> I think we're going to compensate for the years for the habitability. There you go. After 16 years, I think we're probably going to compensate oh, yes. for the construction of habitability. But well, we'd have to look at the, maybe a budget um, from 99 or 90 to 2000. for the city administrator to produce this. Can I see that? As long as I get it back. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to guard Because she's just going to make us all a yeah. coffee. She's going to guard gonna make us all like gold. So. That's what's here. What does it, it cost for a water tap? Uh, $400. $400. Probably way that for us. You can make it make sense to have our own water tap, have our own water. Not be going, it doesn't make sense to go through the county. The county's not really providing this water, yeah. the water district via the county. And Jim, or did I understand that there's, although if we do, if we go straight from the district, there's going to be some, some uh, pipe work that needs to be done or line work that needs to be done. Yeah, I mean, they, they will bring, they will do the tap and, and, and set the, the meter at the property line. Okay. So then we would have to tie yeah. our line. Get it plumbed in from yeah. there. Yeah. Would that tear up my parking lot? Probably. So we'd have to put money into the parking lot also. Put it back. We can go through their side. On the last fall. Can I see the current one? <coughs> Tammy, did they pay the water bill? Did we just? They pay the water bill. You just don't get a water. They they cover whatever is right at this point. All these years. Well, the well was free, and then when they hooked up to the water district, they paid that bill.
And it'd be safe to say that we use a lot more water than they do? No? About 50-50? No, I don't even think we use. But you rely, but you do need to have it a constant supply yes. for, for obvious reasons. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well then at this point obviously we're going to need to make sure that Judge Chambers has this information because it's going to change the, um, the perspective to, you know, to some degree. Um, now, this, I think we need to probably do some discussion about the fee schedule because this would now, as it stands right now, we did propose a fee schedule if the county pays the fees. As I understand, and definitely Officer Ray, if you could step up to the microphone and explain what this proposed fee schedule is. Have you seen this? This fee schedule is for animals that the county people actually bring in to the shelter themselves. Not any pickup on our part going out into the county at all. This is for when people bring them in. And we get a lot of people that bring animals in. And adult animals, anything over six months of age, which is breedable animals, um, $25 turnover fee. Puppies and kittens, anything under six months of age, $15. Um, no, that's not litters. Um, litters of puppies and kittens, $40 turnover fee. I figured a rounded off figure for a litter, mainly because of the fact that to charge per animal, that's kind of sky high. A lot of people are going to say no and walk off. Um, the mother of the litter, if there is a mother, $25 extra because she is still not fixed. And then show proof of residency for Somerville County. Now, this is what you would are proposing as a contingency if in this, the event. Go ahead, please. If this does not work out with the county, and some of the county residents still want to turn their animals over, then they can bring. They can still be allowed to bring them to us according to this. But there will be no pickup out in the county. What is the current approved fee schedule right now for the, for the animal patrol? Do they have an approved fee schedule right now for animal patrol? Not for turning animals over. Just any? Any. Uh, Y'all had a copy of that last time. It was $25 impoundment fee for an unaltered animal, the first impoundment. And it went up uh, $25 each impoundment up to four impoundments, and then it had to go to a judge. And then it's eight dollars a day boarding. And then for an unaltered animal, it starts out at ten dollars a day or ten dollar impoundment fee the first time, and it goes up five dollars every time we get the animal again within a twelve month period. And Officer Ray, has that fee schedule ever been approved by the council that you know of? That one, I just think, yes, it was approved. It was a, it was adopted. Adopted. When all of the ordinances and everything was adopted back years ago. Back, back in 1999 or whatever? Yes. Okay. And it's been the same ever since. And I think you mentioned at the one meeting that we need to look at revising those because your costs have, yes. and that's a revision for the whole. Yes. Councilman Ramsey. This is the current fee schedule that exists now that you gave us. Is that what you're... Oh, tonight? No, this 
It's the just, one the other night. This is a, yes, that's the current schedule. But that's for encounter animals. Like in the city, I go pick up your dog because it's running loose. You come to get it out. Okay, it's an unaltered animal. I charge you $25. It's been there for three days. I charge you $8 a day for boarding. And then you pay that and show proof that the dog has a current rabies shot. If it doesn't, I require them to go to one of the vets, pay for a rabies shot, and take the animal there and get it and bring you back proof. And then that's how that kind of works. And if I get the animal a week later, it's $50 impoundment fee. And say they come get it the first day, it's $8, so $58. So don't pick up him. <laughs> $8 a day seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I looked over what Granberries didn't have it on the website, but I think Hood County had a similar, but their prices were mm -hmm. up compared. And same thing with Johnson. So. I believe Councilman Jones had his hand up with a question. For clarification on litters and puppies and kittens, I just to say for three or more, because if you brought in two puppies, you're going to charge them like $15 each. Yeah, I do just like that. Yeah. Like if it wasn't a litter litter. But three or more, you know. If, so if we you need, need to clarify three or more in a litter so we can change that. Okay. Yeah. 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 So what then you're proposing would be a litter constitutes three or more puppies or kittens? Yes. I thought about that earlier, but I didn't know for sure. <laughs> Otherwise, they would be considered a puppy or a kitten under six months of age. And we charge them $15 each. <coughs> the current proposal that we have before them. Councilman Jones? Well, I'm fine. I'm fine with this. I mean, if you have a motion or accept it or with the contingency if the county turns us down, then we'll accept it on the books already. I'm just kind of getting, trying to get a consensus right now at this point what the general feeling is, Councilman. I think we need to maybe kill two birds with one stone and revise the fee schedule and incorporate this. So yes, I'm in favor. Okay. Councilman Moore. I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm, sh I'm not sure we can get all that done before the well, October 1st. I, I'm not either. Revising it. No. Yeah. And, 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 and the other aspect is, is that we need to, if, if the county later comes into an agreement with the city, um, like we've had in the past, you know, are we going to continue to, to charge the county folks for hire? Uh, so I don't know if we can incorporate all of uh, per se. Uh, but I do, I agree. And Officer Ray has said, she, and she told us at the last meeting, they, that they do need it. Prices have come up. They've been in for quite some time. Councilman Ramsey. Yes, ma'am. Are you I'm happy. comfortable with that in the event that we go to the other? Now, there are a couple of other questions that we have to ask in connection with that. As was previously discussed, who's going to collect this money from the county residents? And Officer Ray has shared with me that if we go with the routine of, okay, you go down to the city, you pay your fee, bring your or proof that it's paid, and then bring your litter back to me. That most likely is not going to happen, okay? And so we then have a litter that is dumped, um, <clears throat> which then, but it was also pointed out that Officer Ray would need to be bonded in order to take money out of the shelter, correct, City Administrator? <clears throat> I 
I don't really know that that uh, she would need to be bonded. Um, just to, it would be, a, be a, another cash collection point that the city would operate. It would be incumbent on the officer Ray and or the chief of police to make sure that the funds are collected on a daily basis and brought to city hall or deposit. And that would probably, that needs to be in a specific, clear, written procedure? Yes. That is followed. Um, cash register may be needed out there? Some, yes ma'am. Some cash handling um, mechanism that would record the checks, the value of the, whatever cash you collected. Now would that allow both animal control officers to accept cash? Since there are only two of them and they do, sure. they, they take separate lunches and stuff. They would both have to, you know, they'd have to be a significant honor system. Uh, I don't know that we have, you know, just it's going to be incumbent upon them to make sure that everything gets handled, handled properly. Um, since animal control ultimately reports to the chief, well, he would also be responsible for it to make sure that it's collected and brought to the home. And we already have a, a, a line number that that would be accounted for. Um, or would we have to would, would the city secretary have to create? I one? believe there is a there is currently a. Account fees. There's currently a fines and fees account for that. For the animal. Yes. Control. <coughs> right. So, is there any aspect of that? side that we're not thinking about or you know as far as the cash collection end of it it's it's one of those things that you know you get a register tape they bring they keep a copy of the tape they bring a copy in um, we just make sure that you know everything's balanced on a daily basis or whenever they have cash that they have to bring in I presume it's not a whole lot different than running the, the snack bar at the pool. No, sir, it wouldn't be. Okay. Be similar. Officer Ray, did you have something? Yes, because eventually I would like to put this, since we're involving fees and everything for adoption fees, I would like to have like a voucher system eventually. They're going to have to pay for the voucher, you know, if I had an adoption off site. So that way, you know, I would be able to go ahead and do something like that if I was able to take the cash. If you know, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. if we're going with these. Like yeah, I'm not. My eyebrows knitted together. Is, uh, Councilman Jones. Going back, you know, I'd love to be able to get this all into one nice package for revision of all the fee schedules. But again, this is going to have to be something that has to be enacted by October first. I'm sorry. This has to be enacted by October 1st. You know, the rest of the fee schedules, we can sit down and get all that ironed out and incorporate it into one big package. This will give us something to work on as soon as the county yeah. by October 1st. Okay. So. And I think it would be easy enough for us to pass this by October 1st so it would be ready <clears throat> if we need to do that and still hopefully give the county a little bit more time come back with an answer. The you know, county may come back and say yes, we don't know yet. I'll make a motion that we pass this fee schedule. Pardon? I'll make a motion that we pass this fee schedule. This that we pass this fee schedule? Yes. Sir. Okay. We have, all right, we need to formulate that into, what are the, you're saying, by, if it was an effective date of October 1st? October 1st. Okay.
I'll second the motion. And let me get let me get the wording. Would you repeat the wording? Right. I mean, we accept the motion. We, we a motion that we accept the fee schedule as presented, amended to state that litters are three or more puppies and kittens. <coughs> the effective date of October 1st. I would suggest that we, the motion to approve county resident fee schedule above as amended to um, to specify a litter is three or more because this will it would only apply to the county residents but that would be contingent on us not reaching the agreement with the county that if it's in the motion i would contingent on i would say i don't know what could happen between the other can i see the three schedule just me yes it's scribbled on but yeah, it doesn't happen with the the way. And these are drop offs only. These are right. not pick ups that we can do. Right, and, and that's something that would be need to be specified also. Yes, this City Secretary? B schedule says county resident. So okay. I don't think we need to add. Okay. So we just need Can it we as, copy? as amended. Okay, yours is four, three, Okay, so that's moved by Councilman Jones, seconded by Councilman Marquez. October first. Council. Yes. Aye. Councilman Marquez. Aye. Councilman Moore? Yes. Councilman Ramsey? Yes. Okay. The motion passes 4-0 in favor.